What a wonderful event. This is my first time. <laughs> that we have a British Bangladeshi uh, uh, or, or you know, a cultural activist in the UK of Bangladeshi heritage who represents so many different uh, cultures. Uh, you're always promoting uh, you know, English literature, English art, and at the same time, South Asian literature, South Asian art, and Bangladeshi and Bengali um, you know, culture and art. So I'm very proud of you. And I'm very proud to be here today. And really glad to see, you know, Sana Begum, our young, our the youngest um, parliamentarian from our community, and also the Honorable Anthony. And wow, I was really enjoying your horse, you know, that, that poem. Thank Just so you. beautiful. So and the music and your poem in 1965, India Pakistan War. Well, you know, for I came here to express solidarity with all the, you know, uh, cultural heritage, uh, artists, composers, poems, everyone who belongs to the cultural world literary intellectuals who are now running for their lives around the world in different wars. And we know there's so many wars taking place. And the reason I came to express solidarity with this event is because in 1971, Bangladesh was born through a war. Um, many call it the India-Pakistan 1971 war, but actually it was the Bangladesh Liberation War for us. It was the most glorious war of our independence. And from 1947 and 1971, this, you know, we had to decolonize ourselves twice, and the poet mentioned about decolonization, uh, since we're sitting in the, you know, British Parliament. But of course, you know, there is this uh, WhatsApp message going on that the empire strikes back. Now you have a, a prime minister of Indian heritage, and you have a mayor of London of Pakistani um, heritage, yep. and you have a mayor of Chaham that's elected of Bangladeshi heritage. So, you know, it, it does represent that UK is truly a multicultural society right now, and it, um, is it's about time that you know um, we've come of age in the United Kingdom, where all these you know uh, we we you know put you know we put them in the past, all these colonial and post-colonial thoughts. But of course, we still need decolonization in every thought process in this country, in your literature, in your um, in your academic books, in your textbooks. I think that still needs decolonization. But I'm here to talk about um, you know how we express solidarity as a country. Because in 1971, um, you know, why they target cultural heritage and artists? Because they want to undermine and dispirit the opponent. They, it is used as a weapon of war, uh, to undermine the cultural identity, heritage, intellect. The intellectuals are supposed to guide the society with their wisdom, with their, um, you know, with their, they're supposed to enlighten the society. So in 1971, between 1947 and 71, when we were left with Islamic Republic of Pakistan, it was only natural that we are culturally so different. You know, we have been part of Indian civilization, you should be able to say. If you look at Bangladesh's uh, map, we are surrounded on three sides by India. We were part of the Ganga Ridai civilization. We were part of the Asoka civilization. We were Buddhist for 100,000 years. And uh, then there was the entire Indian middle, and then